Hey everybody, welcome back to Modded Survival. Since we last left off, I did a live stream and it was incredibly awesome. If you want to watch the whole thing, it's over on Captain Sparkles 2, link in the description. And make sure you subscribe to help us get to 1 million subscribers sometime this decade, right? Okay, and check out the like button. Anyway, on the stream, uh, mostly it was just optimization. I made things faster. I added more auto crafting to the system. So basically any of our, our basic needs at this point should be covered by auto crafting, which is super cool. And also I upgraded the enriching factory. I added some speed upgrades in here. And speaking of speed upgrades, I do wanna be able to work towards stack upgrades because that will allow us to import things like way, way faster than currently because it's bottlenecking a little bit with our resources. But like, look, okay, got a lot of iron, but I have a lot of iron ore. Let's say I want some more. What if I just queued up like three stacks of iron right here? Just watch how fast this starts going now. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. But again, we need more speed upgrades because this thing ends up bottlenecking. So what I want to do today actually is I want to set up an automatic sugarcane farm because I am going to do fancy automated tech stuff here, at least uh, for the moment. But anyway, as you can see, now our iron is, is kicking up pretty high. It's still importing some of the stuff in there, but we're popping off. So I have an idea as to how I'm going to do this. So the first thing that it requires is I'm going to make another digital miner because I'm going to use it as a, a chunk loader until I add flux networks, which I actually kind of plan to add. But anyway, for the time being, all I got to do over here is just complete the digital miner auto crafting because who does things manually anymore? Boom. That's the final pattern. I did the rest over here in between the stream and now it only took a couple seconds to do. But now I hope this pays off and I hope it works. Poor Gollum. Anyway, if we search digital miner up here. I'm hoping, it takes a lot of resources, but let's see if this cranks out. And also I should put this on auto import at some point, but you know, for the time being, that's also part of why our iron is looking pretty good. But we can just crank out ores from osmium to iron, like these are on auto craft and it's kind of awesome. And how are we looking? Digital miner, we got another one that quickly. This is all the speed upgrades, the, the import speeds and all this stuff. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually made another anchor upgrade because I was like, oh, I'll just put anchor upgrades in these machines in order to keep our base chunk loaded. Um, yeah, that doesn't doesn't work. You can only put anchor upgrades inside the digital miner. So um, well, I'm going to just put that there. And then I, I believe even if it doesn't have power, I can anchor upgrade and it will still work, I think. So you just get to have this thing kind of clog the room. But that's OK, because I want to actually make our little sugarcane farm in the basement. It's actually within chunk boundaries here. So if I just, you know, make a little sugarcane farm over in this area and leave the digital miner here or up against the wall or wherever, then then it should work. I could even do it along here. Should I? Maybe back wall, probably back wall is good. So we're doing it vanilla old fashioned way. So just observers, which I, I don't have on autocraft, but I, I can make a decent amount of actually I might run out of quartz but I could use our new digital miner in order to, you know, go into the nether and just mine quartz, which would be pretty cool. The good thing about this is having two digital miners is gonna be really nice because I can have one like stored on forge colon ores and then not have to like swap it back and forth. So it can be kind of like the dimension one and it can be the overworld one, you know, with different things plugged in. And then we're just gonna need like redstone, which we're actually gonna kind of run out of soon. I need redstone and I need quartz. Although I did, I added some more here just so that all of these, you know, have a good good backlog queue of the enriched stuff so that they always are able to keep working. And then I guess we just need some pistons. And uh, I also put these on autocraft for the sake of, e I don't have more redstone. Let me just, let me just tell the digital miner to mine redstone, although I need the silk touch to put it into the thing because it's, you can't drag, drag from uh, JEI, it's, it's unfortunate. You uh, got any of that redstone around here? Oh, beautiful. There we go. I do want to use Silk Touch on this because I just, oh, is that freaking Arlamite? Dude, just a little extra Arlamite there, although probably not as big of a deal for us at this point. But I guess I just need to keep like Silk Touch samplings of various ores in in the system so that I can put them in the digital miner again why can't I just enable and disable the the uh, different types of ores that I want to mine I don't understand it would be so much simpler rather than having to like do the whole process of adding and removing via like code or, or block or you know any of that stuff but 
In any case, now I can actually load in the redstone here and, oh wait, I'm gonna need another, uh, I'm gonna need another energy cube. Um, let's get another energy cube, but look, I can craft, should I just go full on ultimate, another ultimate energy cube? I mean, oh, I'm <laughs> missing some redstone for that. Should I just go full on uh, ultimate energy cube? I should, I'm gonna start that up and then we'll be able to add that into the, uh, as another, you know, buffer up top. This one might take a moment, but then I can, you know, add that into here. And then let me search into the config though and do like you know, new, new radius, like 20 or something like that. And uh, that'll be good. New filter, item stack, redstone, save that. And then I'm gonna have this cranking out while I then go into the nether, grab some quartz for this thing to mine or the other one to mine. Did I already get it? Is it done? Is it already there? It's already there. God, we pop off with the speed of the crafting is just undefeated here. Am I zine? I'm starting, I'm starting to feel a little bit zine-like. A little bit zine-like. Okay, is this thing is it outputting? Is it outputting? Okay, it should be output on the bottom and then input basically everywhere else. And then hopefully that's passing stuff that that just that just filled up with a good bit of uh, buffer energy from from the cables. Cables hold power. Remember, they they sort of act as a bit of a buffer. But I do want to make sure like everything is still running here. We're good. Okay, awesome. So we can now put this in here and start it up, and we have redstone. I could even like put this up against um you know like a an importer or something like that. Also though, and then it's like oh. Oh, I need some upgrades right now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me just, you know, queue up eight of these and then I can just, you know, queue up eight of these and then boom, we're just good. We're rocking and rolling. Here come the energy upgrades, speed upgrades shortly to follow thereafter. I was really nervous. I'm like, oh God, I'm gonna be queuing up all this stuff and it's just actually not gonna work and it's gonna clog up somewhere along the way, but everything seems to be working pretty well so far. Okay, we got our energy upgrades. Our speed upgrades are cranking out too. Let's take four for now. We'll just install them by the time I put these in then we'll be good on the others. And then this thing will be able to just go super duper quick. And then as the anchor upgrade, and then we got our four remaining speed upgrades, put those in there and then this thing is just going to be absolutely monstering it there we go there goes the redstone it's not even it's not actually dropping the power that much oh my god dude that'll hold us over for for just a little bit and then um you know it'd be funny actually is like having the digital miner automatically mine sugarcane except the problem is it would mine the base of the wait a minute wait a minute i have the most genius idea i don't need to make an automated uh, Redst, oh my God, am I, wait. It would take its own digital miner. It would occupy the digital miner like 100%, but I might've just come up with a, the, the most genius thing I've ever come up with in the world, quite possibly. I'm gonna, wait, wait, no, I'm, uh, wait, wait. You know, where, you know where I'm going with this, right? You know where I'm going with this? Um, okay, first things first, need a bucket and gonna need an infinite water source. So let's just do two buckets and then we'll get an infinite water source down here. But I, I think you know where I'm going with this, but I think it's, <laughs> I've just had a revelation. I swear to God, I didn't actually start off the video thinking I was gonna go this way. And I just like thought of it at the, at the last moment, just now, literally. And I'm kind of stoked if this will actually work. Um, and I think it will. And actually there's no reason why it wouldn't work. It's just like, I keep the thing running. And then, and then basically like as the sugar cane grows over, I'll have it on, I'll have the, th what the frick are you doing here, dude? I'll have the minimum Y value set up on the digital miner so that when the sugar cane grows into it, it'll just like, who needs vanilla when you can just fricking mechanism and own and it'll just work and it won't consume that much power because it's only looking for the sugar cane and holy heck holy heck dude are you are you ready all right there we go so we got our infinite water and now let me just grab some some dirt here basically right we'll just do uh i'll just do like easy diagonal pattern it doesn't have to be anything too crazy but you know we'll just do this i know i could go like super optimization on the on the pattern and whatnot i don't even actually like i don't need to do this here I could do it in in other places as well, but yeah, whatever. Here we'll just do this whole thing, and then we'll do a little uh, we'll do a little checkerboard pattern of dirt and and water, even though it's you know not the not the most efficient way. I don't know why I'm, I I shouldn't be committing to this entire thing. I feel like uh, because you know if it doesn't end up actually working, then I've done all this for nothing. I mean we'll we'll test it right. We'll test it because I'll just basically put down I'm gonna put down a sugar cane here, 
right? I'm gonna put down a sugar cane right there. And let's see what Y value this is. God, it's still so loud, I'm so sorry. Um, what Y value is that? We are looking at 61, right? And so this will be 62. Okay, so basically what we wanna do here is we wanna go into the we wanna go into the config and we wanna do a filter where the minimum Y is 62 and then the max is, I don't know, 100 or something like that, boom. And then 62 is the min, right? And then we add a new filter here, check it, and we go boom, sugarcane, save. And now, start. Okay, it doesn't mind that, but... Come on, come on, come on, what are you doing? Does it not register? Did I set the Y values wrong? Perhaps I set the Y values wrong? Or does it just not... <laughs> Mine sugar cane. One sec, I will make this work. Well, I think it's mostly bad news here. Turns out the way the digital miner works is that only after you've hit stop, reset, and restarted, does it actually requeue up that there are new blocks to be mined within the confines of your Y values. So, just kidding. This can't be used for a an automatic sugarcane farm. Back to uh, back to vanilla uh, stuff, but we can still do it in here. I'm starting to think vacuum hoppers could be a good addition to our series here because I don't want to do a hopper minecart underneath because it's going to be loud, among all the other loud things we have going on in here. So instead, I'm just going to do water into hopper, but of course, some of the sugarcane might fall onto the dirt and not make it in, in which case we'd have waste, so Vacuum Hopper would get it all. Anyway, for now though, while I don't have it, we're just gonna have it basically just end up in a chest and the chest is going to import bus into the the system. Beyond that, then it's just basically, you know, wire up the, uh, the redstone behind this here and then add all the uh, pistons in front of it and it should be basically that simple, right? Until I reach the end here and I don't know how to place this one down. <clears throat> so then we can do like the rest of the pistons and then in an ideal world, let's just say, you know, we got the sugar cane right here. Boom, we get the next sugar cane here and then there we go. It uh, it, it didn't, but one of, one of them made it in. You know what? We got 50% efficiency and I'll tell you, in the real world, a process that is 50% efficient is often quite good actually so anyway uh vacuum hoppers probably probably a good thing to add it at some point but for now i think i can just kind of like seal this off back over here put the sugar cane down and then and then it will grow and then i just need to connect it into the system and then we have more loud things because all the pistons are gonna trip off at the same time <laughs> and it's just gonna be loud but we we're okay with that we're okay with loudness here or something like that. I don't actually think that this needs to be able to open in order for me to import bus it in. So, and then I just need to uh, basic, now I'm gonna hear the water, I'm gonna hear the pistons, I'm gonna hear the golems, the zombies, the villagers. And um, it's just, it's, um, it's very pleasant. I really wish I could have made the digital miner work, but we can queue up an importer and it just crafts, despite all the ingredients. I'm sorry, you guys are like totally used to the crafting. Like, we get it, dude. You set up auto crafting. Congratulations, you're so cool. This should work, I think now. Like, let's say I just, uh, how many sugar cane do we have in the system right now? We've got 19. So now if I just yeet these 15 sugar cane in here, hopefully we will now have all of our sugar cane. Brilliant. Okay, so um, it's a working system with um, some, some degree of of loss i could wall it in but i ultimately i think just you know adding in whatever mod gives us vacuum hoppers is just going to be kind of our quickest and easiest solution and i need to add extra storage and flux networks in anyway i'm planning to do that before the next episode so then our chunk loading issues will will be sorted from the flux networks anyway and i won't have to worry about the anchor upgrade but still good to have like this oh my god dude look at all this redstone this is so sick it'll still be good to have all this just so i can have one with forge colon ores, and then the other will be kind of like the gold, the diamond, all that stuff that we uh, want to get in the overworld. And I won't have to swap out the configs on the thing, so. There we go! Our automatic sugarcane farm! I, I hope it grows despite the, the slightly dim lighting, but you know, we got the lanterns. I don't even know it. Sugarcane's not light dependent, right? I don't, I don't think. Well, anyway. So it may have been a whiff on the digital miner, but it all works out anyway, because I I was gonna make another one, regardless. So it, it's it's fine. It doesn't matter. 
Okay, and this thing doesn't need power. It just needs raw vanilla energy. That's a that's a thing. Okay, so there is something else that I want to do though before we start fighting the the bosses in Appalachia, and that is people have been like, yeah, no wonder you're taking a lot of damage, dude. You haven't upgraded your gear in like five dimensions. What are you doing? Of course the mobs are hitting hard. So as such, I'm gonna take all that Appalachia stuff that we mined last episode, okay? I'm gonna work on some armor. So we got the Appalachia stuff. Uh Appal there we go. I don't know how to spell things, but Okay, how do we make this? So it's quite a lot of chunk. It doesn't seem like the armor though is like that much better than, you know, like the, the rupee stuff. So the rupee stuff that I currently have on, what is that? It's eight armor, two armor toughness on the chest plate, whereas the Appalachia is less armor. See, is it gonna protect? I don't know that it's actually gonna protect me that much more, but I will tell you, the Appalachia blade is looking pretty, pretty cool. So we will make that at the very least. I feel like using, Mm, should we do these instead of the so well one way or the other we're using the the gems for the chunks and the whatnot and the i don't oh god it wait it's like seven of these per so yeah, we're gonna bring that down pretty quickly you know do, we'll go a little half and half here on these and because i'm gonna have to make the the chunks and the chunks oh god is it the chunks that make this but they also the chunks spawn the the dude bros oh oh man it's like this is two bosses basically that I'm I'm spending on this but honestly it kind of seems it seems pretty worth because this thing like the 29 base damage but then we're gonna get into the next dimension soon after and we're gonna be like I, I don't know but it, whatever it's totally totally worth doing right and then that was 14 range damage what was it that I was looking at that oh yeah it was the phaser god that's four of these though bro that's four it's so many oh whatever I'm gonna do, uh, can I, I don't even know if I, I actually don't have the resources to be able to do all that, but that would be, God, that'd be such a good range thing. I should take this new digital miner back in there and just have it start mining a bunch of stuff. But anyway, okay, for now, I'm gonna make the Appalachia Blade. I just don't know if like the upgraded armor from the new dimensions maybe has some like un, unsaid uh, uh, attributes. Like it actually does protect more than it claims to or something like that. I, I don't know. Some sharpness and some unbreaking and some mending on our boys. Where is that our fortune? And then that's our looting. And I don't have a sharpness villager, but that's okay because I'll tell you what we can do is we can get ourselves a new sharpness villager pretty easily because what we can do is we can just, I think I can just take, yeah. I take you out and we can just put the baby in. We just let the let the baby be at risk and the iron golems will be even more committed to, to solving the problem because it's a baby at risk and we all know iron golems are far more inclined to try to save the, the babies. So, uh, yes, that's, that's yeah, uh-huh, anyway, okay, so cool. Um, can we make, can we make another uh, lectern here real quick and uh, just forget about the whole, um, the, babies at risk thing there and then I just need another trader. Oh dude, I'm gonna have to start going into another wall here. We have filled up. We've filled up our first wall of village. Oh wait, no, 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 just kidding. We have another one. I misspoke. There we, oh wait, no, that's our, oh no, that's our other thing where we, it's the incubator, it just looks similar. Okay, well, new wall of villagers. Let's start it up right here and this would be our sharpness boy and you gotta love it because like, you put that in there, then you put the villager in there and then Frostwalker, what do we, what do we, we just keep cycling, we just keep cycling. There's no more picking up and placing down. There's just profit. Dude, I'm getting destroyed by RNG here. I've cycled so many times, but I'll tell you, Aftershock I think might be a, better choice even than sharpness. We can do both, but I feel like I should actually just have an aftershock villager because it's chance to double the damage. And when we're talking something that does 29 damage, chance to double that is is massive. So I don't feel like waiting on the conversion right now. I will do it eventually, but let's lock you in and then it's fine because we can just go and make, oh, and I should say the reason why I have access now over here is because I added some range upgrades here. I can't make the infinity range booster yet. I need to actually farm some wither skeleton skulls, fight a wither in order to do that, but I will, I'll probably farm the skulls in like the next stream and then maybe the episode after that, I'll try to 
fight the Wither. I think we'll be able to take the Wither without too much issue, but then we can make the Infinity Range Booster, and I think that'll allow me to just access the, the system, like, anywhere we want to, so that'll be, like, kind of huge. Let's just make a couple more traders, and then a few more lecterns, and that way when we, like, stumble across anything good, we can just, you know... Kind of keep on keeping on there. We have more villagers. Oh, man, this is so cool. We can do that. Just set these boys up. Trader, trader. Just have a new set of traders ready to go for whenever we want to find more stuff. And there we go. Then we can just keep cycling. And eventually... We should... I'm going to... I'm going to do a conversion on on you. I will. Prop 4, we, we want Prop 4. We do, because when we do make more armor, we, we'd like to have... Yeah, no, that's good. I'm not going to... I'm going to lock it on this one, though, because we need more bookshelves anyway, and I don't want to waste all the emeralds, because 51 is, like, mega expensive. But cool, this is this is why I made uh, more traders. So, there... And then... Oh, man, dude. Wouldn't it be sick if that was just back-to-back? -back? Sharp 5 would have been huge. But we'll we'll get there. That would have been a good deal if I was looking for impaling. Ah. Uh... God dang, we got max traded on sharp five, but I have been cycling for so long that I have to do it, and then for future ones, we'll have it converted. Oh my god, what a ripoff. You've just taken me for all I've got. Ugh. I hope you're I hope you're happy with yourself. Uh-huh. Cause I'm gonna throw you into there just like I did for the protection, dude. And I thought protection was a bad deal. Unbelievable. Take into the cleaners. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Let me get some more of these while I can. Get a little bit more emeralds going. Okay, you're you're next. You're next in here. I'm gonna actually let me just add you to the queue because I don't think we need to get too much more prot. Um, or too many more sharpnesses just for uh, a moment, at least. All right, this is what you get. You're gonna have to get, like, double or triple converted even. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to make more weakness potions and stuff like that. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we got unbreaking, mending, uh, aftershock. I mean, this is gonna be kind of omega, but I do want to optimize my experience by doing that. And that, and then probably like one more tome on top of that. Let's make one of you. And I have 10 left over. I mean, we're gonna end up having to use like one of them, probably. This won't be the most optimized thing ever, but it's fine. Bro, I should make a I should make a robot. Actually, wait a minute. I have the ability you guys, you want me to make a robot? I should make a robot. I'm gonna make a robot, and then that way I don't actually even need to do like anvil stuff outside, and it's infinity anvil, and they're also really cute, and everyone's gonna be really happy that I I have a a robot. Okay, watch this. I can craft one, start, and we have everything we need, and there we go. And now the robot is is getting made, and then I think the only other thing is I need a charging pad or something like that. No, I don't. But I guess I can pick them up, and then, there we go, dude. Oh my god. All right, everybody. Let me. Wh what the frick, dude? This this man has some serious protection on. Well, at least he dropped something with the backpack and all that. But anyway, okay, I guess I'll just need to charge my robot in here. But what should I name my robot? I'm open to comments. Leave some suggestions. What would be a good name for our, our friendly robot? I'm predicting everyone's going to say Timothy. Most likely. Oh, not this again. That's where the sound was coming from. Why do you guys have this, like, inclination to spawn in here? And also, have I gotten any new sugar cane? 41. I, I don't know if that's any, like, more or less, but watch. Okay. I know somebody... Wait, can I put... I want, I wish to put you down. Do you not work with the sheep? How do I... How do I place... How do I place you? Why well, could... Oh. Oh, it's working, clearly. Um, yeah, just some of them, you know, they aren't... They aren't making it into the system, so perhaps a uh, little bit of a, a glass wall would be in order here. Let's just make make a little bit of glass, and uh, I was thinking they wouldn't overshoot, but you know, a lot of sugarcane farms they do have a little bit of a glass wall out out, out in front of them, just for you know this this exact reason. Please stop! You're freaking everything up. I'm so sorry, but you're a mess. This is you have so much health. What do you drop actually? A healing stone heals 10 hearts on use. That would be really cool if it weren't for the fact that I kind of already have something that, that accomplishes that. There we go. That'll uh, hold things over a little bit and make the process a, a little bit. Why can why is my robot not going down? I need like some kind of platform, but I, I don't know what it's called. It's charge pad, not charging pad. That's exact. Polished blackstone. I need that. Okay, wait. Do we? No. Oh, God. Oh, no, we're having this problem here. Um, oh, no. Wait, can I... 
Well, that puts a little bit of a damper on our our plans here. I uh, I don't. Oh, you know what? I think I can I can do this with a stone cutter. Can I throw that in there? And yes. Okay. There we have. Boom. Okay. I was not thinking this was going to be as big of a pain. There we go. Okay. We got a robot. This was also that I can access the anvil, which is infinite use and and awesome. So now the question is, do we want to do this the ultra efficient way of like combining things in, you know, you do the most expensive thing first and then you combine like the next two books after that into something else, which would probably be these two. And then that way it kind of optimizes the whole setup. It's probably not worth doing here because I don't think we're going to be adding too much more, but hey, we'll do that and that'll be efficient and then we'll do that. And now this thing does 32 attack damage plus the chance to double the damage, which I assume like includes sharpness. All right, this is not looking pretty, but that's why we have live streams in order to handle all that stuff. Um, right on. Okay, so the next thing that we have on our hands, I guess, is let's try fighting the boss over in Appalachia. So we're gonna need to make another one of the chunks here. And then I'm curious how difficult this one will be and if it'll do a lot of damage to us but you know what dude with aftershock i feel like when we get those percent chances of doing some serious extra damage like it's gonna really it's gonna do some serious work it's gonna be pretty awesome and also do we have any uh have we got any healed boys here yes we do how are we looking over here down to 26 i mean it's it's literally gonna be like a triple heal and then this guy's also gonna be a triple heal man oh man i'm gonna need to make some more uh potions but you know what it's fine okay so the the other thing that i did during the stream was i went in hi there man you enjoying my little portal area i reconfigured our portal area a little bit i recessed the portals into the walls it gives us a little bit more room for like the ground effects and stuff like that and then i just spaced them apart so you know it's it's portal two blocks portal instead and i also went into the nether and i wanted to you know add to our little uh, uh nether diorama here just to make that look prettier and so i was thinking you know we can combine like this with some other you know some of this stuff here could look kind of cool and then maybe just like you know one of the one of the standard nether rack obviously could be cool like that and then what we can do is we could take some of these fancy ember padus <laughs> And we could make like a tree over here, right? And then it's like, they have ember gel. It's like a honey block almost or something like that. And then dude, see, I can put like some of the crimson roots for a little bit of a uh, little bit of accenting on here. And then maybe even one of these um, tall ember, that might be kind of in the way, but you know what? It's it's great. <laughs> and then we could, we could even have one of these like, hey, Maybe, maybe not hanging, but you know, it was, it was a thought. <laughs> it, it, it was a thought for sure. Um, but I have this going on up here and then like that. And then, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of that happening. And maybe it could actually hang that off here off the, the gel thing. Yeah. Oh, it goes on, uh, it goes on walls. Okay. That's kind of in the way right there, but yeah. And then we have a, uh, we have another set. Of, it's not like the most beautiful thing that's ever existed, but there we go. Let there be light. And uh, I don't really necessarily want to put lava there. I feel like that's perhaps a little bit of a of a risk. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then we just have to go into Isica at some point and get some Isica blocks and and beautify it up. But it's it's something. So let's do this, bro. Let's let's fight this boss. I'm freaking ready. I'm also ready. I'm also ready to just like. Oh my god, bro. I'm about to just lay in some damage. Lay in some damage like you've never seen before. The one thing that I actually was wanting to do is make the auto feeding upgrade for the backpack, but since we do have these, it's like not that big of a deal, but I might do that next time. Hey man, you ready? Oh, I just want to test this. I want to test this on these boys. I want to see that percent chance of double damage. This thing crushes. Don't mess. You do not want to mess with me. Look at that. All right, I'm so ready for this. Here we go. Eternal Archer will summon. I'm, I'm kind of worried this dude is gonna like rapid fire me super hard and it's gonna, oh my Lord. How much does he hurt? But wait, what is that? Is that with, he does wither? He does wither? Okay, never mind. This is actually a little bit not super sick. This is not the sickest thing. Not actually the sickest. Okay, not the sickest thing ever. What am I being? You need to frick off right now. Oh, stop running. Oh my God, he leads me into everybody else. Super bad manners, super bad manners, super bad manners. You're gonna make it so like, there we go, there we go. Okay, at least this new, the new sword was a good call. Um, It was a great call. I'm gonna figure out the whole. So he's got some um different things that he can do with his arrows, I'm starting to realize. Okay, you can get wrecked. What if I just get in, get in close, get in close on him, get in close. Holy heck, 
Holy heck. We go, wait, we go in, we go in, we go in, we go in. Imagine if this thing had like vampirism or lifesteal or something like that. Holy, oh my God. We're actually, oh God, ow, oh frick. Oh, serenade health. Woo, hit me with something big there. Can't hang, can't hang. Absolutely cannot hang. And we got four Appalachia hearts and I forgot to put looting on it. That would have been another good one to combine with our fourth book, but yep. Okay, wait. Halite Blitz, 20 range damage. Oh, it has, uh, I forgot these ones use ammo. I, was, I got super stoked for a second because it was like 20 damage and infinite uses, but this thing, the phaser is also the same. So yeah, okay. Um, This sword may or may not be like a little bit powerful, just, just a little bit, but that's what I'm like. If anyone has any insight into the armor stats for this set of armor are worse than the rupee, is that just inaccurate? Does it just not really like display properly here and and the Appalachia stuff is actually better? That's just what I want clarification on. Cause like going off the stats, yes, it has higher has higher armor toughness, but it also it, it just does I don't know if the toughness kind of like is that significant or not. So yeah, I'm just like I'm not entirely sure. Okay. You know what? You're allowed. You're peaceful. So it's fine if you're here. I just don't want angry. Angry folks. You know what? It's a nice looking diorama that I've set up here, okay? It is slightly obstructing the portal, but maybe I should have given some extra room on whatever. You know, we can't we can't get it down 100% every time. Now I just have to figure out, do I put another? Yeah, we got, fortunately, like room for one more pedestal here before I start kind of running out of space. So um, the running out of space will be a problem for future me to handle. But for now, look at that boy right there, dude, look at that. That is kind of epic. And no, no, oh my God, bro. They're out to get me, I swear. What are we at, 39? God, it's not a, not not great deals. Not great deals at all, really. But, um, okay, so we are gonna need to do more of the souls. We're gonna need to do, cause we got four of the hearts. So we gotta keep working towards those. I'm probably gonna wanna just like maybe set up this Digi miner into like forge colon ores and just delete the sugar cane because that was useless. How sad. Um, and then do uh, min probably back to zero, max a hundred, and then new filter of just tag forge colon ores, save, and then yeah, that's everything. And then we just take it into the dimensions and get more. What's up, buddy? I love having a robot now. I'm so excited to have a robot, like mostly for the anvil part, but it, like robots are, they're just so awesome. They're my my favorite little guys. Just make sure you recommend some names. You know, maybe we'll get some other names recommended other than other than Timothy. Points if you have gotten that reference. And uh, actually, where how's our sugar cane doing, by the way? 47, it's, it's not going up that much. So the whole reason why I wanted sugar cane was so that I could make um, a stack upgrade. So actually, Check it. Let me let me see, because I left some room inside of here to actually give it stack upgrades. And I wonder if I have the resources to be able to do it. But let's do a stack upgrade real quick. Let's get the auto craft into here. And now I just want to see if like I actually have the materials to make it happen. One stack upgrade, missing some quartz, missing some quartz. This is fine. I'm just going to go into the nether and uh, you know what? We're going to we're going to plug in quartz. We're going to do a did I No, I didn't. Oh, I forgot to go into the nether and silk touch quartz so I can set that up. I'm going to go silk touch some quartz right now. There we go. I actually really only needed it to be one. So I'll go ahead and um, why didn't I bring the digital miner? I'm not entirely sure, but I can fix that pretty quickly. And then um, I guess I'll, should I? Yeah, you know what? I can add it to the the other one because the other one is kind of focused on overworld stuff. So I have, if I have the overworld stuff plugged into the other one, it's not really going to register in the nether because those ores aren't going to exist. So I like might as well just, there we go. See, more, more stuff. I took out iron because we have a lot of iron, but if we stop it and go into the config, then I can do another right here, save, boom. And then we can take this into the nether and go up to like, I don't know, 128 or something like that, right? And just get basically all of the quartz that's in the nether and it's gonna be epic. All right, let's just put it right here and start. 720 quartz to mine, should be good. It would be nice if you could have like a fortune modifier on the digital miner. I'm not entirely sure why that doesn't exist. It is, uh, to be fair, dropping the power 
a little bit more than I thought it would, but we have the other ultimate energy cube back home so we can kind of like hot swap them out and stuff. I mean, actually, I don't even need to stay here because, right, because this is going to run. This is going to still be running like while I'm back. Why sit through the portal animation when I can just use that? <laughs> but we got the anchor upgrade in that one, just like the other one. I can throw all this stuff back in here. And now stack upgrade, craft, start, and despite it having so many things it has to make, I am going to need to re-up on slimes. It takes 17 sugar cane bit of an oof what can you do see but once i do this now when i bring this on down here dude it's gonna oh my god like previously it was kind of getting a little bit bottlenecked when it was trying to export all of the uh iron and stuff like that from the furnace but now let's just do let's do like some osmium let's queue up like i don't know <laughs> let's start 320 osmium that only takes half that in the ores because of doubling and now it should be able to export like massive massive amounts yep watch this oh my god look at the osmium going up you need osmium we got osmium you need gold we got gold you need iron we got iron this is sick and then this one you know this can have the for forge colon ores we go into the uh other dimensions with it and uh yeah sugarcane yeah only 30 now which is unfortunate but i feel like once we get a vacuum hopper set up in here it'll be like just slightly better because at least we won't be like losing anything and yeah we're we're pretty good here, I think. More optimizations, obviously, that we can do, but I feel like we did a, a good bit of work here. Let me know about the, the differences between the armor with Divine RPG, because I just, so far, it does seem like the rupee stuff is holding its own, but if if I should be upgrading, then, then let me know, and I'll do it. We have our Prop 4 Villager, obviously, so we should be all good on that, but yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Make sure to like the video if you've enjoyed, sub to the channel to stay tuned for more episodes, and um, probably be a live stream in between this and the next one, but next time around, um, maybe we'll head into the next dimension. Fight the boss a couple more times and then jump in. All right, I'll see you next time.